a young man, a Berber from North Africa, was only 19 years of age when he did something magnificent. He would bring Islam to Europe. His name? Tariq bin Ziyad. This Muslim hero crossed the Strait of Gibraltar in command of 7,000 men to face a tyrant and oppressor, a king who persecuted his Christian subjects, King Roderick of Visigoth, Spain. Tariq bin Ziyad ordered the burning of the ships that had brought them. Why are you doing this? cried an astonished soldier. How will we return? Unmoved by their appeals, Tariq bin Ziyad uttered these historic words. We have not come here to return. Then he addressed his troops. O oh my warriors, where will you flee? Behind you is the sea, before you the enemy. By Allah, there is no salvation for you, but in your courage and perseverance. Banish all fear from your hearts. Trust that victory shall be ours, and that the barbarian king will not be able to withstand the shock of our arms. These powerful words pierced the hearts of men, spurring his army of believers to never look back, but to march forward, carrying the banner of Islam, competing with a mighty army of 100,000, despite their meager numbers. And so, in the year 711 AD, on the 28th of Ramadan, 92 years after Hijra, less than 100 years after the conquest of Mecca, the Battle of Guadalete was won, and Islam was brought to the shores of Europe. This feat was only possible because of the qualities of Tariq bin Ziyad, his courage of conviction, his resolution to take risks, burning their only means of escape, putting his complete trust in Allah, that Allah would give him the victory. And with this unwavering belief, his valor and his vision, Tariq bin Ziyad, a 19-year-old, led an army of believers and conquered Spain. Cordoba, Granada, Toledo, Malaga, all fell one by one. A new civilization was born on the shores of a new land, an Islamic civilization, Al-Andalus, Muslim Spain, spanning 800 years, a hub of debate and dialogue, igniting excellence in the arts, science and learning, home to numerous universities, hospitals, gardens and libraries, creating the finest mathematicians, physicists and poets. A land rich, prosperous and progressive became the envy of the world. The world is held up by four pillars the wisdom of the learned, the justice of the great, the prayers of the righteous, and the valor of the brave. An inscription at the entrance of the Cordoba University, a fitting tribute to this youth, who brought justice and security to millions of people, uniting together religions, races, and creeds, protecting all under the rule of Islam, Muslim, Christian and Jew, a marvel of the Middle Ages. This illustrious young hero will be remembered, not by his social status or his color or ethnicity, but by his valor, his faith and his deep connection with Allah. Remember his name, Tariq bin Ziyad, remembered as the youth who opened Spain and this, his lasting legacy. What will be yours? <laughs>